Artists painted seven murals across local businesses in East Tosa along North Avenue from mid to late July. The Wauwatosa Tourism Commission hired Wallpapered City, a local company experienced with murals, to organize the project. Many local residents, such as Jessica and Corey Bauman, are excited for the murals and believe they reflect a growing vibrancy in the community. I graduated from Tosa East in 1997. My friends couldn't wait to move out, and now <laughs> they're moving back. Yeah, so I they think are. That that's like a great, you know, that's a great thing. It's obviously showing that there's a lot of improvement going on here, and, yeah. um, and that Tosa can be a, a great neighborhood for everybody. Mm -hmm. While Watosa artist Christina Thomas is happy to have her art displayed to the community, while also projecting the growth of the community through her mural. Having lived here for a few years, I've like seen how even just in that short time, the community has like changed so much and it's just like growing and like bringing all these cool different things into the neighborhood. And I wanted to create something that was like indicative of that growth. State representative and resident of East Tosa, Robin Vining, is proud to have a mural from a local artist such as Thomas. Finding believes the murals will positively impact the atmosphere of East Tosa and the entire city. East Tosa is a really fun community. We, I think, love being together. We um, do a lot of walking to eat dinner, a lot of walking to spend time and money on North Avenue, and this is going to add a pep in the step. Another East Tosa resident, Joe Donovan, thinks the murals will provide a chance for residents of the city and greater Milwaukee area to interact. It's another opportunity, I think, not only for us, who, the, those of us who live here, to engage with, not only with our neighbors, but also from people from all around. So I think it will be, I think it will end up being a terrific draw, just like it is in Black Cat Alley. Founder of Wallpaper City, Stacy williams Young started Black Cat Alley, a collection of murals in downtown Milwaukee, and witnessed there the large effect art can have on a location. Williams Ung also hopes her work with the murals in East Tosa will positively impact the city. So it's, it's just truly astonishing what street art can do to a place in terms of changing it and changing people's attitudes about what that place is. It's, it's just a coat of paint, but it's a coat of paint that's been done with love and creativity and it can change a place utterly. Business owners along North Avenue with murals displayed on their buildings, such as the owner of Roll Line Service Station, Richard Klein, are enthusiastic towards Wallpapered City's project. I think it's awesome that the city is doing this for us. You know, it really brings color and vibrant and saying I want to take care of the area of down here, so I think it's a really great idea. Co-owner of Cranky Al's, Joey Cariotti, states he was skeptical of the project at first, but is now happy to be a part of it. Very few businesses have this built, have this artwork on your building, and people will be talking about it for years to come. Carrie Addy also believes the murals show local residents care about their community. People want to be involved in a vibrant area. They don't want to be part of an area that's, that doesn't have much going on. And people are invested in the community. When you're invested in it, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And that's what's so great about Wauwatosa. You come here for two weeks and you end up staying for eight years. For Tosa West Side Stories, this is Sarah Stanislawski.